Mo Clark. Welcome to my channel. I want to do a quick video and review on a couple of gadgets that I have been getting lately. So, of course, when I first started out on my media journey, I did not have the best camera. And I was told that it wasn't really a good idea to go and have your cell phone. But you know what, guys? Times are changing. Cell phones are good. They're decent. And if that's what you have to start your media journey, by all means, Go ahead and start that journey because guess what? There are several vlogging kits available. They come with lights. They come with little external mics. And you know what? Some of the megapixels in our phones are very compatible with some of the megapixels in the camera. Now, I wanted to come to you guys and show you my wasn't my first camera, but you know what? After I tried a couple of horrible ones, my next camera was the Lumex GH7. Now, I love this camera. However, for me, it was not really beginner friendly because you have a bunch of different settings that you have to change to. Of course, you have to learn lighting, and that was just a lot for me. But you know what? I was willing to learn, but unfortunately, I got my lens stuck on the camera. So once I got my lens stuck on the camera, I went out and I purchased this, um, the Minolti. I can't think of the version, but it's purple. It was 24 megapixels, and guess what? It was decent. You know, the quality was good. Unfortunately, I don't have that one right on hand to show you guys, but eventually I will. That one was a little bit more beginner friendly because it did not have an interchangeable lens. So it was, you know, the zoom was built in. Of course, you had your little buttons that you click, zoom it in, zoom it out, and you're good to go, right? Right. But there were a couple of things I did not favor with that camera, but it was more beginner friendly. I wanted to take it up a notch. So I purchased the Canon EOS 50. Now the Canon EOS 50 is what I'm filming from right now and that camera is decent. Love it. Um, is it beginner friendly? Absolutely. Um, it does have a lot of settings but not as much as the Lumex G7. I could operate the Canon a lot better than that. So I had a friend wanting to start her journey in vlogging and she sent me a link to a camera on Amazon. The camera, I believe, is $80 or something, or $80 to $100. I was reading the specs on it. The camera stated that it was uh, 42, 30-something megapixels. I can't really remember. But that is what you guys see here. That's this little baby right here. And you know what? It's got about five settings on it. Um, well, five buttons, of course. The settings are very minimal. And you know what? It's got built-in Wi-Fi so you can transfer your photos. There's an app that you download with that as well. Now, of course, I thought this camera was going to be absolutely horrible. 80 bucks off Amazon. What are you going to do with that? But the camera is actually a good quality camera. It is a 16 zoom lens. Uh, well, no, it's like 2.4 millimeters zoom lens or whatever but with this particular camera um $80 I got great quality out of the camera but the trick to this camera of course is going to be when you go into your menu making sure you have the camera on 4k um lighting is definitely going to play a part in this camera I did get tricked. I tricked myself. I thought, okay, this camera is easy to use. It's budget friendly. Let me take it out for a spin. I took this out to an event that I did and you know what? I looked totally disorganized and it wasn't really because of the camera. It was because of the lighting in the area. Now with this particular camera, it does have the interchangeable lens, but you can only change to the one that it comes with and that is a wide angle lens. Super high definition and again, you have to play with the few settings that are on here in the menu button to make sure you're taking good, decent quality photos. Now this one I would definitely recommend for $80 if you're just, you know, using your using it as a personal vlog, kind of like what I'm doing right now. Um, going to an event, the, the type of event, I, I don't think this was the best thing for me. Now I do have an external light and I do have an external mic. 
I did not have that on me at that particular time. So maybe, just maybe, I will take this back out for a spin with the external mic and light to see what kind of quality videos I can get because this is 4K and it really is truly 4K. Now, it does have a mic for an external mic. It's got a USB port as well as an HDMI port. So keep that in mind in case you want to try to stream with it. I haven't tried to stream live with it yet. And you know what? I've had other cameras that I tried to stream with and it dropped the quality down to a 1080 and not 4K. And that was using a capture card. So that brings me to my new camera. And I'm excited about this because you know what? I've had the Canon, um, the Canon I've had the Panasonic. But what I have not owned is a Sony. So, just got this baby from Amazon, the Sony ZF Dash, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> ZV Dash 1F camera. Now, I am super stoked about this one um, because with this particular camera, it is lightweight. It is the camera that is going to come after the Sony EV10 and the Sony ZF. So, no, I'm sorry, ZV. The Sony ZV. So with this one, this is the ZV-1F, which is going to be the baby of the bunch. This was just released in 2022, last year. And I hear it's perfect for vlogging. Now, for me, going to some of these events technically is vlogging. You're just getting, you know, a couple of behind-the-scenes footage or what have you. Now, this just came today, so I haven't got a chance to test it out. But I am going to be filming certain things for you guys and uploading it to this video so you can kind of see what it is that you like and scale it down for what you're using it for. That's going to be the key to everything that I have found. What am I actually using it for? Okay, so let's get into it. Of course, we've got our regular paperwork you know it's telling us about the limited warranty it's telling us apparently about a thousand dollars uh sony prepaid visa card enter your chance to win we've got our reference guide we've got a uh pamphlet for the different types of accessories that are available with the sony and then we have i don't know what else this is it's, it's not even in english it's probably another reference guide and more information about this product okay so that's that and let's dig into it here okay so it looks like this um let's get into it okay battery all right now, it took me a long time to get this one because I wanted it in white because all my other cameras are black and really white gets dirty. But I just thought it was cuter. I don't, I don't know why. It, it must have been a little poof ball. So this is going to be your wind, um, your wind thingy. You know, it goes over your mic to kind of cancel out some of the wind. I can't think of the technical term for it right off the top of my head. But you know what? I'm a blogger. I'm not a professional photographer. I don't have all the terms down yet, but I'll get them. Okay, so here you go. Here's this baby. It's very lightweight. Um, I don't have the battery in it, so let's just go ahead and put the battery in it and power this baby up. Okay, now I will tell you guys, it does not come with a memory card, so just be prepared to add a memory card. Now, let's, let's do that, okay? Hold on. We're going to add that off camera. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I did add a 32 gigabyte memory card on here. Now we're just going to go ahead and add our little uh, slide the wind reductor thingy on. I'm having some issues. I don't know why. Here we go. You have to slide it in sideways. Okay. So we're going to flip open the screen. And it looks like as soon as you flip open the screen, the camera powers on. And, okay, here we go. Okay, guys, I got to tell you, so far, I'm loving the clarity on this, and I haven't even changed anything. Okay, so we have our flip-out screen, which, you know, you can flip it over, and you can see great, something great to have for vlogging. Of course, you can flip it back over, and bada bing, bada boom. Also great for vlogging. Okay, so let's just go into some of the display settings 
and play around, click around with some of that, okay? So once again, guys, with any camera, this, this particular one, the Sony ZV-1F, is a vlogging camera. It's also a point-and-shoot camera. If you're not familiar with point-and-shoot cameras, those are the ones that typically don't have that many settings. You know, less mess, less fuss, all of that jazz. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and take this bad baby for a spin and get some footage for you guys um, from the ZV-1F as well as the um, $80 vlogging camera as well as the Canon EOS 50. So I will be right back with you guys to let you know what I got, okay? And boy, did I have a time with that. Um, three different cameras, three different looks. Now, I didn't do the Lumix GH7 because, like I said, that's my big boy camera. And really, this is truly about lightweight, compact vlogging cameras, which the GH7 is wonderful and it's amazing as well. But in my personal opinion, it doesn't fall in that beginner-friendly type thing if you know absolutely nothing about operating a camera now one quick thing that I do want to show you guys I did actually get this little um, SD card reader to plug into my iPhone now I'm not sure what type of device you have um, whether you have an iPhone or a Samsung or you know Android whatever but what I will say to you guys is this has been an absolute lifesaver for me because I like to get my footage uploaded and get my pictures, watermarked, videos, behind the scenes chopped up as quickly as possible because a lot of times I go to events and they want their footage back within 24 to 48 hours or maybe sometimes if they're nice, 72. So a lot of the apps and trying to transfer uh, transfer your files from your camera to your computer from your computer to your phone wherever you're trying to transfer them to it can be time-consuming so with this little SD card reader which I believe was about 10 to 12 bucks from Amazon you just actually take the SD card out of your camera pop it into the SD card reader plug it into your phone and go to your files and you will see this external drive Get your pictures and videos downloaded lickety split, especially if it's not that large of a file. I definitely swear by this and recommend this because you know what? Sometimes you go to places and you want to start doing your pictures or whatever right then, right there. You're having trouble connecting the camera to the Wi-Fi, your phone, connecting the phone to the da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. And it can get hectic. So I definitely will recommend this. I will try to find the link and link it below in this video so you guys can order that. I will definitely link a Canon EOS um, to the so you can buy that. And I most definitely for sure because this this um, 4K $80 camera it's going phenomenal on TikTok. Everybody's wanting to know, is it really good? Is it really worth it? I think it's great. I think it's worth it, depending on what you want to do and if you're just starting out. But I will leave that for you guys to decide. I will also leave the link for that below. Um, like I said, price point for that was $80. I believe the price point for the Canon EOS is around $400 to $500 bucks as well, if not cheaper. Um, you definitely can price point that on Amazon and eBay. The price for the Sony ZV-1F, that is going to be anywhere between four to six. It gets up there, you know, because they have some that come with accessories. They have some that come with a selfie stick with a remote and Bluetooth and all of that. So you guys will definitely want to do your research on that. Um, I picked up an extra thing of batteries for the Sony ZV-1F. I also got these on Amazon as well. Um, I got three batteries for 20 bucks, And you know what? The reason why I chose to do that is because... Again, I go to events, I have things happening, and that's just what it is. Sometimes when I go to events, I do take my wireless mics 
Um, they do come with a transmitter. Also pick these up on Amazon. I believe it's Alva Alvoxin or whatever it is. They come with a transmitter that you plug right into your uh, mic jack on your camera. And you connect the transmitter and it also has an adapter as well. The mics that I'm using right now are the Movo Dual Mics. I found these on Amazon. These are not on the Movo website. I looked, I tried, they even sent me a discount code, but they didn't have this on there. So I like these, I'm recording with these. We're gonna see what type of sound we get. We're gonna determine is it better than just using your built-in mic or is it good for recording? Now with this particular mic, you can connect it to your cell phone as long as you've got that 3.5 millimeter um, adapter, which I picked one of those up from Amazon as well, but I already have one that came with these mics and it, it works just fine. I tested that out already. Um, I'm pretty sure you can connect this to your computer as well and do your Zoom calls, your Zoom interviews, which I do, but I have a great webcam that has a phenomenal mic on it. So I haven't tested that part out yet. Um, guys, thank you so much for kicking it with me today and allowing me to come and do this video. Just want to let you know, none of these companies are sponsoring me. None of these companies have paid me to do any reviews. These are genuinely my honest, honest reviews and feedbacks. This is what worked for me. I know a lot of you guys want to get into vlogging and if you're anything like me, you don't know where to start, you don't want to invest in a expensive camera, I highly would not recommend you invest in an expensive camera if you don't know what you're doing just yet. Start out with a baby model, learn the basics, the lighting and all of those things and then you know what? Take it from there, guys. It's your girl, Mo Clark, with the post up. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys know what to do. Like, rate, subscribe, and all that good jazz. I'm sorry. I always wanted to do that. I see other vloggers doing it. My bad, y'all. My bad. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.